Hey drummers, it's Rob Lifton here from drumsaword.com. Welcome to this full video song lesson for my online subscribers. As usual, this song was suggested over on my Facebook page. Today I want to show you how to play the song Lonely Boy by Andrew Gold, drummed by Mike Botts. And this is an absolute masterclass in song uh, writing and drum parts. Uh, I've always loved this song and I've always been very confused with what the drums are doing so it was a real pleasure for me today to be able to transcribe it and then teach it for you. It's given me a whole new appreciation for this song. It really is a work of art but a very advanced lesson as well. So the first thing is the intro I've written here. We've got uh, piano comes in on the and of beat one, the cowbell is overdubbed and is playing on the downbeat of the bar. So the first thing to understand is the piano is playing these offbeat stabs. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And we're gonna hear the bass drum replicating that piano part. So when the song first comes in, really clever idea this, it, you think the first piano note is on beat one, but it's not. When you start to hear the cowbell, which is the second part of my note there, it's overdubbed. Uh, we're going to be playing on the hi-hat and ride cymbal. You start to hear the cowbell as the upbeat on the and, and then when the drums fully come in, you're like, what? And then after about two bars, you suddenly realize where beat one is. It takes you like four bars to work it out if you haven't trained your ear to hear it. So that's the first real test there, is training your ear to hear the piano on the upbeats. One, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four. So when the drums first come in after those first two bars of piano intro, the bass drum is playing one and two and three. And this is your first chance to sort of settle your ear in. Um, also the cowbell starts at the same time. One and two, three and four, one and two. And then we get this drum fill on beat three with the first, well, the bass drum on beat three. And it's a 16th note, a um, uh, six stroke roll. Um, and it's quite an advanced lick this. We, we're playing Right, left, left, right, right, left, right.
Very, very popular lick amongst drummers. I think it's called the, the six stroke roll. And again, it's, it's right with the accent and then left, left, right, right as two ghost notes and then left, right at the end. We then come back up to the same tom or you could use the floor tom to play the and of four. So we get three to, to and to, to four and. Notice those six triplet notes take up the whole of beat three. So from bar three where the bass drum comes in, we get one and two and three and four and one and two and three to, to and to, to four and one. And you want to play a crash, but there's no crash there. We go straight to the hi-hat where the bass drum starts with the one and. So that's our first test knowing where to come in. Then we come in with the second line. <laughs> 